شاموس خیر بزنده آمار جامعا یکی نازو تنکر ادم هستیردن سینا هموزا بیشنجی گون ایشتن سونا ایلین سونا سیز باخت ایرم برا گلیم تکلیف بورموسوز بیزین ایچون چوک بیو شرفتی ایستی شرکت آنونا و برا ایلشم بیتن جامعا آمدن من سیزی سلام لیرام Bizim çok güzel bir münasibetimiz var. Bugün Azərbaycanda ilkin olarak The Congress Jurnalı Bilgi Nəşini The World In Dünya 2014-cü ildə Azərbaycan Nəşirinin prezentasiyası olacaq. Və prezentasiyanı başlamamışdan öncə Mən sözü vermək istəyərdim Cənab Fərid Axundova, Paşa Bankdan. Həmin bugünkü tədbirin və bizim bu nəşrin əsas baş sponsoru olan Paşa Banka. Fərid Mənim. Aşağın seyir. Aşağın seyir. Hamızı salamlayıram. Öz Paşa Bankının adından hamızı salamlayıram. Aşam seyir deyirəm. Bu günləri çox maraqlı bir tədbir keçirmək istəyir. Əslində, mənə məndən xayiş elədilər bu təqdimatı ingilis dilim deyiləyim. Qısaca Azərbaycançı deyib, sonra ingilis dilinə keçmək istərdim. Tədbir, jurnal Rüfət dediyi kimi, deməli, World in 2014, yəni dünya 2014-cü ildə olan ekonomist qrupunun, ekonomist jurnalının böyük bir proyektidir. Bu proyekt artıq neçə illərdir, mən özüm biznesdə, Bank sektorunda işləyirəm, neçə illərdir bu jurnalı oxuyuram. Maraqlı bir jurnaldır. Bu jurnal gələn ildə baş verənlərin proqnozu, proqnozların eləyir müxtəlif ölkələr üçün, müxtəlif sənayələr üçün, sahələr üçün və biz çox şadıq ki, belə bir jurnalın Azərbaycanda, Azərbaycan dilində təqdimatında iştirak eləyirik və mən bir də Bütün bu jurnalın təqdimatında bu işə aparmaqda iştirak eləyənləri ürəkdən salamlayıram. İlk növbədə Görç Başaradzı. I would like to introduce Görç. Görç, I will switch to English. Görç was just telling that it's been a work, a work that you, Rufat, and your team conducted. I'm sure the final result will be a very good result. Uh, and uh, we, uh, all business people in Azerbaijan, will enjoy reading uh, this forecast for the next year from The Economist uh, in uh, Azerbaijani language. We, uh, I would like to say a few words why we, as a Pasha Bank, uh, involved in doing uh, that. Uh, basically, uh, the, the issue itself, the magazine itself, Azerbaijan edition of the world in 2014, is published by GT Group. And uh, GT Group uh, is the official licensee of The Economist in Azerbaijan. Uh, and obviously, as a bank, we are very proud uh, to be uh, associated, uh, to be a general sponsor of uh, the magazine, and to be associated with the work, uh, with the work relating to making it happen. Uh, generally, uh, the reason why Pasha Bank is doing that is uh, because we are eager to support uh, and uh, to be associated with a high quality product uh, and uh, this is intellectual product this is uh, information that uh, we as business people and all business people in Azerbaijan government offices are always looking uh, for this type of information is very important uh, so we thought that is a natural way for us uh, to get involved as a bank briefly uh, we uh, have cooperated with the Economist uh, a lot. Uh, we started our cooperation with the Economist Group uh, four years ago. We conducted uh, a number of events in Baku, 
uh, in uh, the Belize, uh, in London, uh, and they uh, were um, uh, with the Economist Intelligence um, uh, Unit with uh, um, uh, their programs uh, like thought leadership and uh, events management. Uh, we conducted twice in Baku um, uh, breakfast, bottom wood breakfast, and uh, this breakfast were basically seeking the opinion of decision makers in Azerbaijan, representing government offices, uh, big corporates in Azerbaijan, and uh, the international corporates like BP, uh, EBRD, uh, European Bank for Construction Development, uh, like uh, Commerce Bank, Istanbul Stock Exchange, Societe Generale, and uh, others. We conducted the investment seminar jointly with the Economist in November uh, this year, and uh, overall, we're very proud with uh, our cooperation with the group. Uh, so that's basically it from me. Uh, I will pass um, uh, words to my colleagues uh, to uh, talk about the truth at Chosos. Chosos. Chosos, Fernando. This is my first time I'm here. I'm the Aspromo Company President, John Abrufet Mamadou. Hürmetli hanımlar ve canavlar, aziz qonaqlar, ilk öncə mən də Fərid mənim kimi ə, sizi salamaqdan böyük məmnunluq hissi duyuram. Mən də ə, bir iki ə, giriş söz Azərbaycan dilində deyəcəyim, sonra ingilis dilində ə, keçəcəyim. Çünki bizim aramızda ə, Azərbaycan dilini bilməyən ə, bizim dostlarımız var. Ə, Azərbaycanda ixracın və investisiyaların təşviqi, ilk öncə Azərbaycanda ixracın və investisiyaların təşviqi fondu Aspromo adından mən bu layihənin, yəni dünya 2014-cü ildə Azərbaycan üzrə xüsusi buraxılışının xüsusi buraxılışı layihəsinin təşkilatçılarına öz dəstəyimizi eyni zamanda öz minnətdarlığımızı bildirmək istəyirəm. Çünki bu doğrudan da böyük bir işdir və bugün Azərbaycan uğurlarını ümumiyyətlə Azərbaycan iqtisadiyyatında gedən prosesləri bu illər ərzində əldə olmuş nailətləri həm Azərbaycanda bizim əhalimiz arasında, eyni zamanda dünyada tanıtdırmaq onu bu nailətləri, nailətlərlə oxucuları, yəni müxtəlif ölkələrdə yaşayan vətəndaşları tanış eləmək böyük bir işdir, eyni zamanda lazımı bir işdir. Ona görə biz də Aspromo olaraq bu layihəyə dəstək göstəririk və yenə də bir daha da demək istəyirdim ki, layihə təşkilatçılarına öz minnətarlığımızı bildiririk ki, bu layihəyə başlayıb onu azıxüsü ilə Azərbaycan üzrə xüsusi baraxılışının çap olmasına dəstək verirlər. Eyni zamanda əlbəttə biz Başa Banka da öz minnətarımızı bildirmək istəyirdik ki, bu layihəyə qoşulub, layihəni maliyyələşdirilir. Ənənəvi olaraq Başa Bank bilirəm ki, The Economist qrupu ilə sıx əməkdaşlıq edir və biz hesab edirik ki, bu əməkdaşlıq çox uğurlu əməkdaşlıqdır. Biz hətta həmişə həm iştirak edir, eyni zamanda izləyirik ki, bu əməkdaşlığın yaxşı nəticələri də var. Bilsə, mən ingilis dilinə keçirəm. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to welcome everyone at this presentation of the project, of this project, on the publishing of the special edition on Azerbaijan of the World in 2014 magazine by the Economist Group. We are, uh, first of all, very proud to be here and to support this project, as well as we would like to uh, thank the initiators and the supporters of the project, uh, because uh, nowadays the, uh, the uh, dissemination of information about, the, about Azerbaijan and especially about uh, the economy of Azerbaijan, the processes uh, that we observe, uh, the economic processes, as well as the indeed uh, very um, re remarkable achievements uh, in the economy. So the promotion of those achievements all around the world plays an important role in the uh, economic policy of our country. 
and as a part of the institutional mechanisms established specifically to promote Azerbaijan uh, as promo, um, as promos, one of the one of as promos role is also roles is also to uh, promote uh, the um, uh, Azerbaijani economy, its achievements and the processes and the work that we have done uh, in the last period in various um, uh, various countries all around the world. Uh, we're also closely working with uh, various publishers, with various groups. Uh, we have also certain projects and we are uh, very glad also to support this project uh, because as we, we think that uh, still we uh, feel a need to a more active uh, promotion of, um, uh, of Azerbaijan uh, so that people uh, living abroad uh, know more and have more precise information on what is going on here and specifically what is going on in our economy. Uh, this is very important because internally we know very well that there are uh, good achievements, remarkable achievements. In some cases, in some areas we have uh, even a best practice uh, that um, we share with our partners in other countries. Uh, so, uh, not many people uh, not knowing Azerbaijan well, uh, know about those achievements, know about those um, best practices and um, promotion for various international media um, of all these things plays an important role. Uh, this is a, a natural uh, process, it's not only related to Azerbaijan but to any country in the world. And so we are very glad that today the Economist Group has also expressed its interest in promoting Azerbaijan, in uh, showcasing Azerbaijan uh, and its uh, achievements, uh, the economy of Azerbaijan, the results. Um, we would like to uh, welcome definitely our colleagues from the Economist Group, the supporters. would like to express also our thanks to the Pasha Bank, who is actively supporting this initiative who is closely working and uh, cooperating with the Economist Group because uh, we, uh, we see the uh, real results of this cooperation and we support this cooperation as well. So thank you very much uh, for your attention and I wish you good luck. Thank you. Çok sağ olun, Rıfat Bey. Ananabı olarak artık ben de İngiliz dilde geçemiyorum. Now I will switch to English. So I would like to introduce a very interesting creative personality who is uh, George Sharashidze, the publisher of The Economist Georgia and now the publisher of The Economist Azerbaijan. I'm giving the ground to this person. He will present now the, the, the magazine and he will tell us what it will, will be like and hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Rufat. So first of all, unfortunately, I, I should start directly in English without an introduction in Azari. <laughs> I do apologize for that, I'm really sorry. But maybe next year for the world in 2015, maybe I will be ready to, at least for introduction in Azari language. So first of all, many thanks for all of you for being with us this busy evening in Baku. So despite traffic jams and despite the fact that it's not only the end of a busy day and not uh, of the, the end of the busy week, but also it's almost the end of the year. And, and for this reason, special thanks for you for being with us, despite the fact. And, uh, and of course, my special thanks to, to Mr. Farid and to Mr. Bose Rufat, actually, um, for being with us and for this nice word, the interesting speeches. Um, I will be as short as possible. Uh, but still, I think that I will need from 12 to 15 minutes to cover the presentation, including general information about the project. But before I, I start, and then just for information, Fairmont is promising food and beverage department of very, very nice hotel here in Baku. Fairmont is promising good uh, and tasteful cocktail menu for, for you, and please just don't leave and stay with us at least for half an hour after the conference. So, I cannot avoid 
uh, just explaining my very, very special, not only thanks, but the gratitude to Pesha Bank and uh, especially to Mr. Farid, because this is not only like a simple cooperation and advertising in media and the magazine, but this, thing, this is for me and for us, it's something more and much more. So the motto of today's event and of this project is like the more intelligence, more knowledge and more business. And I am really happy that Pasha Bank really understands the value of, of assisting people in getting more knowledge and more intelligence. And, and the fact that only through knowledge and intelligence is possible to do more and more business. And, and I really want to thank uh, Pasha Bank again for this opportunity to, to helping us uh, to implement this uh, valuable project here in Azerbaijan. Now, just uh, very shortly, what I want to mention about the, the project, and I would like to start with the benefits, uh, how I see the benefits of this kind of publications here in Azerbaijan. So people who really want to stay one step ahead will definitely benefit from this magazine. And I see these people in all of these areas, in business, in government, in politics, in independent experts, in media, for example, because I think it will be good opportunity for all media specialists and journalists to read this so high quality content in Azari language from January next year already. For students who are studying mainly in the fields of economy, business, international relations, academics who teach them because I think this magazine will be really helpful material for academics and lecturers to use during their uh, learning process. And for general public, of course. So I think everybody will benefit from this really high-level publication here in Azerbaijan. Um, very, very shortly about the world in itself. Of course, as you know, The Economist has much longer history than 27 years, but The World in itself was published 27 years ago first, and today it's in 1986, and today it's already published in 42 countries around the world. And, and the fact and the fact that the, the World Dean is really distinguished from other magazines and newspapers is that they are really trying to deliver the best content, not only from the economist editors, leading editors and journalists, but also they are trying to invite business leaders and political leaders from around the world and to give them the opportunity to write in this magazine, their opinions regarding the next year. This guy, Daniel Franklin, is an editor-in-chief editor of, of the World Inn, and as you see and read his quotation here, predicting the future is really hazardous effort, but The Economist is the only international media who takes the responsibility to predict the future, to provide the forecasting of the future, based on the intelligence generated within the Economist Group, which is not only the magazine, but also the, the intelligence unit. Shortly, very shortly, the facts about the World Dean. So as I said already, it was launched in 1986. The circulation uh, of the World Dean in 2013 was over one million, and the readership is around two million in 100 countries. Target audience is international executives and decision makers, and frequency is annual, as you already know. And the last year's edition was licensed in 20, was licensed actually in 40 countries in 29 languages. And this year, the licensed countries are already 42, and the good news is that Azerbaijan is already amongst them. As it said, it's it's better late rather than never. I think it's exactly about the situation with the world in here in Azerbaijan. And a very interesting facts based on the readers' research made by the economists 
is that uh, the world dean forms an integral part of thinking for the year ahead. And 81% of readers agree that it is vital for staying informed about what is happening in the world, while over 70% stated that it helped them to find new ideas and stay one step ahead. So you can shortly see who were previous contributors from leading companies like Microsoft, Cisco Systems, Skype, and politicians uh, and political leaders of countries like Germany, the United Kingdom, and uh, United Nations, etc., etc. So, a very interesting facts again about the readership of the World Dean is that uh, the readers of the World Dean read it for an average of five hours and pick it up over five times. Uh, they keep each copy for over a month and share it with 2.7 colleagues and peers on average. Uh, I do hope that we will have the, approximately the same results here in Azerbaijan, uh, particularly about 86% uh, who say that they are likely or extremely likely to recommend the world to family, friends and colleagues. So as you see and as you know already, so it's a really global publication with global influence as the world in reaches over 2.8 million people, high profile readers in over 90 countries around the globe. And 27% of them are board directors, 44% are senior management level or above, and 49% work in professional industries, including banking, finance, accountancy, law and healthcare, medicine, etc. And now a few words about the Azerbaijan edition. So as you already know, this is the uh, first time we launched the world in Azerbaijan as Mr. As, as our uh, colleagues already mentioned that uh, we represent GT Group, who is official licensee of The Economist. And this will be the first localized licensed edition of The Economist. For your information, 20% of the local content will be prepared locally and we will be targeting the leaders and opinion makers of Azerbaijan politics, business, finance and education. We already received some uh, confirmations from very influential, prominent and famous people, mostly from Azerbaijan government and uh, education sector and you here see the least of these people and actually one of them, Mr. Ufat Mamadov, is also here today and <laughs> thanks him again. So these are people who will be writing, actually writing articles for this publication. Uh, because before, before you knew these people only in the role of respondents, but from now on in this publication, in this magazine, you will see the, the same people in a different role. In a role of authors, in a role of contributors. And I think this will make Azerbaijan edition of the world in really unique. And now I just really want to switch to a very interesting section of the presentation introducing you only a few contributors of the world in who are really really interesting people from politics and business and uh, I will start with Mr. Ed Miliband famous person who follows political developments in Britain the guy who leads the Labour Party in Britain and the guy who is uh, the, the one of the contributors in the Britain section. So uh, one, more, one more information, so as you already know, The Economist has a section which is divided into geographical regions like Britain, the United States, Asia, and the same will be in the, in the World Dean. So the World Dean keeps exactly the same structure as The Economist. And in every, in every section, The Economist invites, invites at least one person beyond the journalism and media. And in Britain's section, Ed Miliband is one of them, who is 
promising his voters, his future voters, to release the energies of Britain's small and medium enterprises, uh, to implement banking reform for long-term finance to new companies and not, not only for old companies, and also to regional economies and not only for global economies. And he also promising his voters to build a new economy through re-establishing the connection between the wealth of a country and the millions of wealth creators within it. So I think from Labour Party leaders this is not a strange, a strange message. United States, so actually, personally for me, Richard Branson is one of the favorite entrepreneurs who started his business from the student's magazine, but now he is going to fly to galactic and, and the interesting fact is that exactly it will happen in year 2014 and as you see here the first commercial space flight will be launched in America as Mr. or actually Sir Richard Branson founder of Virgin Galactic promises. For your information he is also planning to take his two children with him so, and, and when, when you see the man who has a mission to transform access to space for the benefit of life on Earth, I think after this, after reading this, maybe we all just look at life through a little bit different way. <laughs> and and Mr. Sir Richard Bress's main message in this article is that he's going to show that it's possible for a private firm, I think this is the main message, main message here, for a private firm to give thousands of people uh, the full astronaut, astronaut experience safely, and which is even more importantly, within a commercially viable framework. So of course it will not be only a fun, and of course not, or not only a charity, but it will be a business for which and press and press. You will read details in the upcoming edition of the world in very soon, of course, yourself. Very interesting lady, uh, Prime Minister of Jamaica, who shares her plans for year 2014 in uh, the World in magazine. And she said that Jamaica faces 2014 with confidence. And how? So expect the expanding agriculture and tourism, which is traditional, traditional spheres, um, sectors in Jamaica, through attracting investments in logistics, through developing renewable energy, because Jamaica unfortunately mostly depends on export, on imported uh, fuel, through increased access to education and health services for children, and very interesting is that to exploit Jamaica's international brand, developing potential of cultural and sporting industries. The rest is also a very, very interesting lady, the, the president of South Korea, amazing country with amazing results in their, mostly in their economy. And very interesting is that how, how the president of South Korea sees her country's market. And there is a very interesting uh, terminology suggested by her, disciplined market economy. And, and here is some points how she is going to reach disciplined marketing economy. So fair competition and fair returns for labor with clear and fair rules. So greater diversity for more ideas through turning ideas into business to expand innovation frontier, and very interesting, through creative economy. And the lady here is planning to rise the employment rate from 64% to 70%, exactly from generated ideas. So this fact is comes to the, the fact that I just started this because ideas are not coming without education and intelligence and maybe we with Pasha Bank and with our sponsors and supporters will do at least a few, few steps forward in 
in giving this opportunity for Azerbaijan, I mean, mostly young, young, young uh, people here in Azerbaijan. In international section, you will meet uh, guys who are co-founders of Water Org, and they argue that in, in uh, 2014, more companies will increase water-related investments, both for their own use and for communities where they operate. Uh, and they argue that this should not be, and this would, will not be only a charity, but it will be more market-oriented, and they provide very good examples, many examples of businesses. But one, the most important one, is the example of PepsiCo Foundation. And the PepsiCo Foundation invested $35 billion to water programs in developing countries, supporting microfinance initiatives, which links access to finance with access to water and sanitation. I really, really recommend you to, to read this article. In business section, so of course we all are aware of IBM and, and, and the IBM CEO also suggesting quite interesting ideas how this company is going to tackle with big data, so-called big data. And very interesting quotation from her article as she says that data constitute a vast new natural resource which promises to be for 21st century what steam power was for 18th century, electricity for the 19th century, and hydrocarbons for the 20th century. And also new terminology. You will, you will meet a lot of new, new terms, terminologies in this magazine, but uh, this is particularly interesting. The model of smarter enterprise, and and and how the firms could reach this model of smarter enterprise by making decisions, by capturing data and applying predictive analytics rather than just relying on past experience. This is the first step. The second step is to create value by infusing intelligence into what they produce and how they produce it and to deliver value, not to demographic segments only, but to individual human beings. So I really enjoyed this article, and I really do recommend you to read this one too. Uh, it's really good that we have... So the men are here are still majority, but I hope that from next year we will, we will see uh, new business enterprises in Azerbaijan founded uh, managed by business women, not only by businessmen. And this uh, lady is Tori Birch, who is a founder of the famous Tory Birch company. He started her, she started her business in uh, 2004, I think, in a small room at her house. But now she is quite a big businesswoman. And as she says, as she says, it, it was also uh, somehow uh, the surprise for me, as she says, in only seven countries do women take part in business at rates equal to men's. Only imagine, in only seven countries around the world. And uh, as she says, in 2014, it should be a year for providing support and tools to ensure that women-led businesses flourish. And maybe for Pasha Bank, it, it's, it's some kind of good idea to think about new new products for business <laughs> business women. So it's really it's really interesting to, to, to read this article. And finally, to make sure that I just uh, complete this presentation shortly, uh, they also have culture section. And this guy is a very interesting guy who is a chef chef and also owner of normal restaurants. And by the way, if you don't forget, you can visit economist.com recipe where you can find two exclusive recipes, especially for you, for the world in leaders. And the guy suggests that this will be year of vegetables rather than uh, steaks. And uh, the, the interesting quotation here is that uh, as a prediction and also already as a fact that chefs are becoming less and less preoccupied with obtaining so-called luxury ingredients 
from far away, far away places, opting instead to draw from what's within their grasp. So I think it's a it's a logical uh, logical uh, I mean end of uh, this presentation since we we will have a also quite a tasty cocktail uh, party after this presentation. Uh, but finally, I really would like to to to ask you and to give you an opportunity if you have some questions to me directly or to our guest speakers, please say a word. If something is not so clear for you or if you think that you wanted to learn more, please. I want to understand the names of those countries where women are equal to men in business. I think Azerbaijan is not a man. Well, I understand it, but I, somehow, you know, I think the, these are the countries where the women are just the majority of the population somehow. How it's called, sorry? 100 business women of Azerbaijan. Yes. And I, when I actually saw this article in the original uh, version of The Economist, I suggested her to become one of the contributors of, of the local economist. And, and uh, we are just looking forward to, to read your article. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs>